You know, one of my ancestors was hung. Okay. Yeah, he's. Um, if you ever go on the internet, well, obviously you're on the internet. His name is Alexander Campbell. He was one of the founders of the Molly Maguires. Oh, right. Okay. Really? Yeah, he was um, 1876 in uh, Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It's called, it was called Mock Chink. He was a typical Irish bar owner, owned a tavern. And they were protesting the uh, unjust mining conditions and how the Irish were being abused. So they were sort of uh, subverting the miners, the, uh, the mine owners. Right. So some people were killed, and he was accused to be an accessory. So kangaroo trial, it was all German-speaking jurors. The DA was an employee of the mine. So him and about 10 other people were convicted and sent to be hung. So when he was, before he was going to be hung, he put his hand on a wall of the jail and said, I'm proclaiming my innocence and this will, something like, this handprint will be here for eternity. It's still there to this day. Yes. by the peoples of all colors and all races, without poverty, ignorance, and disease. In the wake of Reconstruction, as African Americans continued their struggle for equality, they debated how best to move forward. Three prominent voices emerged. I didn't know those. A noted journalist, W.E.B. Du Bois, who co-founded the racial domination of the South. But the North was no promised land. African Americans were often restricted to the most menial and dangerous jobs and faced discrimination. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please?